What's up grinders? I am Hazard and this is Gems of War Guild Wars week and let's get on to it right away we are fighting against misguided misfits and it's a red day we are up against basic book team with some boom boom included uh, they aren't using impervious tank which should help us in case things go wrong Red Day um, <coughs> Excuse me I'm going to counter them slightly using this I can cancel their Axe Labber who converts blue gems to red by using Herald of Damnation who converts blue gems to purple and Graveshear also converts green gems to purple and enchants the songs lie <coughs> excuse me mm. I think I'm going to change my hero to obsidious that's how I like to roll that's the safest route because I really think if we can eliminate their hero then we most likely will also win the match Purple, blue, yes, I think, or do we want? I like blue. No, I should probably take red because um, they are using red, so there might be more red than blue gems, of course, yes. Okay, let's try. Oh, they're using beef, yes, salty. Um, the, so we don't need our current medals that much. We can take season medals and equip those. Okay, here we go. Um, we got this, um, we got this, we definitely got this. Blue to purple, get Zul up, get the stun in, and, well, we could take that, and then we could take that, and that. Right. And then kill the hero. Nice cascades, man. Oh, do we have conversion alignments? Nope. We have to. Hmm. Yeah, we are going to lose our Herald of Damnation. Pretty sure about it. I'm also slightly worried about TPK and his transform ability. Hello purple brown possibly get obsidious up TPK is going to get up regardless what we do unless we lock box like incredibly well Okay Hmm. 
Hmm. If I take this skull over here, I could get purple, but they would get uh, red. Five match there, so if I take this way. Could I use Obsidious for for extra turn? I don't think so. I guess I have to take this. No alignment. Green to purple. Hmm. And the AI is probably going to... Oh, but if I take this way... The red drops and the skull drops... Yeah. That way I can deny the purple match, which is the only color that helps uh, TPK currently. He is mana blocked by green and there is no blue on the board. So take this one. Oh, they got the extra turn regardless. God damn it! Oh. oh well, that's how it goes. Sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me. Surprise, surprise! Another book team. So yeah, we are actually fighting practice one this time so that explains all these book teams because book teams are what get the wins from skilled players if the board sucks and favors the AI then it's going to be a bloodbath no alignments Blue purple, cream purple, no. So take that. And what do they have? They are converting blue to red and brown to red. They don't have any alignments either. Excuse me, extra turn alignments. <coughs> if I take this. Perhaps I'm just going to convert these blue gems away. And if I do that, they won't get any extra turn. These turn to purple. There we could get <coughs> extra turn. On the next turn. Here, here and that. That's what I am going to do. Use Herald of Damnation to secure our next move. There. He kicked air. Now I could take this, but I'm going to take and cast a uh, Grave Shear for some more alignments. This turns to purple and we can get five, th five match there if this doesn't get our Zul up. Which didn't. Now take this. Get the stun in. There's a nice load of skulls. Ten. We should get extra turn. Pretty sure about it. Kill the hero. Yes. No. Too tanne. Kido is having some problems. Um, there is hmm. Oh, 
I take this, I get extra turn from there. If I take this, I get the skull match here, and this skull will drop here. Oh, but they are going to get skull over there too. Well, I guess that's what we are going to do regardless. Oh, nice cascades. And now, could have worked that boss, and we have extra turn here, however that won't help as much because we can't kill Enrage Karandera, because he's invulnerable. So we have to use... Well, technically, if we take this, maybe we get Zool up, and actually we will get two up and then we would have a possible extra turn from the skulls what Zul creates so cast Herald of Damnation check for extra turns which there isn't any now cast Zul and hope for extra turn which we got there's another one and that's a match yes that went well And what's next? Can you guess it? My guess is it might be a book team. Oh, what a surprise. Well, let's do it again then. There's plenty of alignments, so cost Graves here. Stun the hero. Take the extra turns, get some more skulls, and of course we miss the extra turn. Is there? No. No. I'm going to explore this and get those skulls that drop here. There. If I take this, the skull drops here. That won't help us in any way. But if I take this, I can get extra turn from this, that helps us more, I think. Yep. Is my dog going to suffocate now? We should get extra turn. 11, 12 skulls. Yep, and there. Okay. Huh. Stone hammer up top. Immune to stun. Shouldn't be a problem if we can kill the hero. Okay, is this the first bad board? Mm, seems like it. They have 
um, lemon there. This is one of those situations that if you would use uh, the usual red attack team what uses Scurvy Sea Dog and Drown Sailor, which those both convert to blue, uh, you would be in problems, I think. There wasn't much green or much yellow either in the board. So what we are going to do now, we are going to cancel their Axe Lover by converting these blue gems away. They will get extra turn over here and possibly... Well that's the only one. And we will see how things go after we... After we cast our Herald of Damnation. I mean, I could risk. I could risk this by taking this and hope that they will take those skulls. But I'm not sure if they are going to do that. Besides, if I take this way, this red will drop here and they will get extra turn there. Yeah, I'm going to cancel their conversion and see where this ends up. Oh, great. Awesome. Uh, green to purple, nope. But there is plenty of red. Which way we take it? Uh, this way, that would... Nope. Oh, well, I guess this would... If I take this, nope, if I take... Yes. There's alignment, but let's take this first. And we are... This is 4 plus 2, 6. That's not enough. So we have to use this. If I take this 4 match here, I will get a 4 mana plus 2 from the banner. And that's only 6 mana and that will leave our Zul God short by 1. But there's this. So take that. And then take... There. Gildare hero. We got the extra turn. And there's our alignment now. What we saved. By paying attention on the board. Which is very important. And if I take this. This will drop here. And we will uh, save some HP. I think we are going to kill their stone hammer because he cannot piston and he has that 80% skull reduction. Nice, Nice. 
and there's another one that isn't enough to there <clears throat> excuse me and then Paragon who uses wow not a book team okay there we have another invulnerable tower Leonis tower life and death Enraged Karandra and Leprechaun. Well, this is interesting. Well, with Graveshear, we can uh, cancel their Leprechaun. However, we can't kill uh, this nor this with Shul, but we can kill this. But, um. Hmm. Hmm. Those tomb skulls could be very handy. Should we try this? We can uh, cancel Leprechaun with Gimlet 2. Transforms green gems to brown. Enrages and gives life to the first ally. Hmm. I'm slightly worried about this life and death, so that's why I really want to use Zulgot. Although we could try to... Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm going to run this one. Yeah, but I'm going to class my uh, change my class to monk. That uh, that doesn't do much, but this doesn't do much either. Except though, if we can kill the tower, and then maybe if their life-ended hero hits us with skull, that would stun it. Mm. That snap freeze doesn't help much because only troop that can be frozen is leprechaun because I'm pretty sure they are using uh, because they are using elementalist they are also immunity to frozen yes so we are going to take that impact that helps us the most out of these two brown mana which helps alchemist. Hmm. Okay. This is interesting match. And uh, we want actually. Do they use they use nap freeze? I guess I'm going to change my medals then. We could also do a test run. Which is which is what I'm going to do actually. Sorry, this is going to take a little bit time, but uh I wanna win. So let's try. 
let's try how our teams work against that. And the banner was silver banner, I think. Yes. And the class was elementalist, yes. And they... I'm pretty sure they are using Storm Aura. I don't bother checking it at this point. I want to see how this rolls. Okay, okay, okay. Well, obviously we have very nice alignment over there. We could actually take this first, but this gives us m more mana. And our alchemist is frozen though, but we are doing that. Anyways, Leprechaun will kick air. Now we got the cleanse from metals. Now we could convert purple to yellow. Get our quillin up. There's no alignment. No. If I take this, that doesn't help much. There would be. I wanna see how that. Oh wow! That worked well. There's a crossbow alignment. Yeah, I think I've seen enough. If we can repeat that, we have no problems. But can we though? That's the big question. Let's hope for the best. And there's exactly three. Oh wow, not three, but no alignment A either though hmm extra turns there is one and we want it more if I cast my gimlet does that give them extra turn this will go away no, no, no. Um, this will give them a brown four match. But I think that's what we have to do in order to stop them getting mana. Yeah. Totally. Oh crap. There's alignment, however, our hero is frozen. We need to do exceptionally good. 
if we want to win this and get exceptionally lucky. This is great team. I totally forgot that if life and death gets a cast, it will also bless. And it's wow. Yeah. I think we are going to lose this. For sure. If we can loop with killing, maybe. Maybe we could get that bless to ourselves. And uh Yo. There is our extra turn, but 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 um we are still frozen and those Orpheus medals won't do anything to us because we are also stunned this is great build because this 40% chance to curse all enemies paired with elementalist put my hero on stun even though we have 40 dude which is which makes our hero to immune to stun immune to death mark and so on but because they were able to inflict the curse then they were able to also stun my hero and freeze so I can't cast this alignment here now what I have to do now is to get my quilling up and pray that the bless hits us before they can get their troops going so I guess we are going to take this one here this no I won't take this okay I really would like to keep my hero alive so maybe I take this and see where we end up with that but if I take this green brown red skull yes Oh boy. So I'm taking this and I'm praying that I get cleansed from the RNG. Then I could cast this. Nope. Yeah, now I have to cost killing. I don't have any other other choice. They won't get extra turn from the skulls created. Uh, then they won't get extra turn from the purple to red and hopefully I can get my roll going after this 
Bless two random allies. Come on. Oh my god. What happened? Why I didn't get to bless? Oh Christ, I'm cursed. That's right. Okay. This is not going well. What a great build. I'm going to copy this, that's for sure. Oh wow, and in, uh, Enraged Karandra has alignment over here. <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass banged so much right now. Can we get extra turn from yellows? No, we can't. Oh, wow. And I can't break this alignment here either. Yeah, this got me. Very good, very well done. It was the curse that I didn't uh, pay attention. Because Monk has the purification talent and I, I knew that if I'm going, uh, that if their hero is going to get extra turns and get that stun and freeze and all that stuff inflicted, my hero can cleanse itself in the next extra turn. However, I didn't pay attention that Enraged Karendra also curses and makes all those nasty things happen. I can't overcome this. Unfortunately, I'm done with this battle. Yes. There. All I can do now is let them hack me. Very good. Okay. That was a great lesson. 7,997 points. Alright, hey, that's hap that happens sometimes, see you tomorrow, and peace.